Hi there, it's Ashbury from In-House Solutions again. This is video number two on what's new in Mastercam 2025. Again, these first couple of videos are going to be on 2D uh, enhancements to Mastercam 2025. So let's get into it. So the first one they've done here is for a circle milling, they've added the ability to do spring passes at every depth kit. Okay, so that is in here. Apply to all finished passes. This was not, you couldn't do this before. If you had depth cuts enabled, it would only do the finish pass or the spring passes on the last cut. So now this finish passes allows you to do the, uh, the spring passes on every depth cut. So let me show you how that looks. So here's my tool coming down and my first approach and my first way around, second time around, third time around, and fourth time around. And it goes down to the next depth. And again, very simple little feature, but it allows you to do spring passes at every depth. And that's available in circle milling when finishing is enabled, obviously, for all finish passes. And just like before, you still have the, the linking parameters that are graphical as they were before. The next little subtle enhancement they made is for chamfer drilling. So here I have a chamfer drilling operation, and this does chamfer drilling of multiple different holes. Let me just unshade that, and I'm just going to disable. So you can see it does a chamfer there, safely moves around, chamfers there, chamfers in there, and there. So it's basically for spotting different holes of different diameters. But what they've done is now they've added the ability to maintain feed per tube. So this maintained surface footage was available before in 2024, but now they've been changing the feed as well. So in here it's 300 cutting speed, 25 inches a minute. So depending on the size of the circle plus the chamfer, it will change the speed and the feed for each one of these holes. So if I post that out quickly. You will see eventually that. So there's my speed of my first one, speed of my second one, third one, fourth one. And you can see the speed and feed are all changing based on the diameter of where the spot drill is cutting. Again, really handy feature. And last but not least is a really powerful ability to debar using debar three axis. So I've already done this part here. You can see I picked all the faces that I want to debar. And this will go through and do a consistent 3D chamfer across the whole part with very minimal intervention here. All you do is you pick the complete part and then you pick the edges that you want to cut, or chamfer, sorry, or deburr in this case, and how deep a chamfer or deburr you want, and obviously how far up you want to come out of the part. And essentially this thing looks like, so I'll do the chamfer drill as well, and I'll verify it. So there's my finish part, and I'll just kind of play it through. So there you can see you get a beautiful, consistent 3D chamfer. Doesn't matter whether it's steep or shallow, the chamfer depth will always be the same. Really handy feature to add to your mill 2D seat.